Casey Kid Baby. How's the family going? How's everybody doing? You know, I got to keep in touch with you guys uh, to uh, just to say hi. You know what I mean? It's um, look, man. I got to tell you, I miss the road. <laughs> I do. And it's and, and, you know, it's it's one of those fine lines. It's um, you love to be home because you get to be with your family. I love my family, absolutely. But also miss that highway. Um, I guess that's why they call me the Highway Pitmaster. But I'm actually here at home still in Indiana. I have one of my buses service in these, uh, you know, simple PM, oil change, fuel filter, oil filter. Uh, I actually changed some uh, oil in our rear ends. And, uh, you know, just to make sure everything is running properly. Don't nothing change, you know, when it comes to our buses or our truck. Nothing changes. Um, we, we still make sure everything is, is tight and operating properly. You know, the difference is when it's in these buses, and it goes down, we got a problem. So uh, we try to avoid that. But I just wanted to touch base with everybody. Um, you know, I've been keeping a close eye on things in terms of rates and so forth, fuel prices, and and I'm, I'm, I'm wondering, I mean, has the fuel prices, has it plateaued? Um, I'm also hoping that maybe the the rates have reached its bottom and, and was, you know, soon to, you know, start to creep up, you know, trying to figure out what's causing it. Why is it um, doing what it's doing? Um, you know, supply chain issues. Uh, you know, is this something going to give and, and cause it to go on the upscale? Uh, just trying to kind of forecast things. And it's, it's all over the place. There's no concrete format that says okay at this moment things are going to start to creep up it's such an unknown i mean there's just so many things going on right now in this world with the war um with covid i mean it's just so much going on it's like how much can we take how much more um so i'm just kind of kind of watching things but when it comes to me and what i'm doing uh uh, hopefully, maybe next week I'll be able to get out on the road for for about a week or so, and you kind of stretch my legs a little bit and get out there and bump some docks. That's what I'm hoping. Uh, that's the plan, at least. Um, we do have a a gentleman, a uh, young man that is interested in driving um, our truck. Uh, but I, I tell you what, you know, I was looking at that, you know, because you always look at opportunities to grow and, and build, you know growing a fleet you know is that something i want to do you know we've done that on the bus side don't want to do that on the truck side and it, it, there's possibility but i tell you right now it's just so difficult um i took a uh, a gander at some truck prices you know what a what a truck selling for right now and oh my goodness it is pure price gouging um i went on mhc's website mhc kenworth i believe that's where it is. and i just wanted to kind of get an idea of what numbers are looking like, you know, and I'll, I'll look at the private sector as well, but I just wanted to see what the dealers were were asking for for trucks. My truck is a 2017, and I got it from Long Mountain, and that truck was retail. I want to say it was 40, 42,000, somewhere in the neighborhood. 2017 had 509,000 miles on it. Okay, uh, there, and I got pictures. I'm gonna post the pictures up in this video so you can see he's. I'm not making this stuff up. I want to say it was a 2018 that was $86,000 um, with 500,000 miles on it. Uh, a 2016, I believe, was over 67. I don't know. It was ridiculous. I'm going to post them up here in this video, um, you know, through the, through, as I edit it. But, you know, do I want to pay those kind of numbers for a truck? It's hard when you when you paid half of that for a truck that's running extremely well. You know, so obviously, you know, it's, it's an asset. It, it makes money. But wow, um, I went on Lone Mountain site. And maybe I'm looking at this wrong, but there was two trucks available in the entire fleet. One was an International, and I want to say one was a Peterbilt. The International was 9,000 down, or 9, 9 something a little under 10,000 down at 1925 per month um, for an international. Uh, I believe the Peterbilt was 
more than that. I want to say it was 29,000, $2,900 a month. I could be wrong, but I'll post that up so you can see that as well. Uh, but these prices are just, um, wow. You know, it's, it's unbelievable. It's got to give, right? It's got to give. But I just believe there's definitely some price gouging that's taking place. Uh, you know, people are just saying, hey, let's see what we can get away with. And that's just, that's just, in my opinion, that's summing up. All oil companies are, are saying, you know, celebrating profits. Why are the prices going up then if you're making a profit? You know, I'm not getting political. I don't get into that. I don't. But it just, it's just baffling to me. You know, why are things going the way they are? You know, so just something to kind of feed on, something to kind of think about. Um, but I intend to be back out there next week, uh, you know, after the holiday. And let's just test it out and see what's going on. You know what I mean? But, you know, again, you know, I, I just want to put this out to everybody. And I know a lot of people are messaging me uh, regarding, you know, what's going on with you on Highway Pit Master. You know, highway, you know, what's the, are you, why are you not on the truck? And, again, it's, it has nothing to do with what's going on with the prices of fuel. Being honest with you guys, really honest. Uh, it's totally because of my bus company has really got me hostage. Uh, there's just so much going on. There's so many moving pieces. And I have to be here. I have to be hands-on to make sure things run smoothly. Um, because this is our high season in busing. There's a there's ups and downs. You know, in trucking, there's ups and downs in it. But it's not clear. It's not a red line. It's still making money. But in the bus business, things stop. <laughs> things really stop. When the time it really comes to a screeching halt, um, the month of August, it slows down dramatically. Uh, so right now is really a high go-get-it season. You know, you, you got to get it while the getting is good. Uh, when the fish is biting, you got um, to put the bait out. So that's where we are right now. But I'm getting things in place, some drivers uh, that, that can kind of help things move along while I'm gone. So that's all I've been doing. You know, we've been doing some hiring. Um, we've been up catching up with some of our maintenance on our coaches, things like that. Uh, so don't under, understand, family. I haven't quit trucking. I love trucking. Trucking has been good to me and my family. Uh, it's blessed with things that I could have only dreamed of. And I'm not backing off from that. Trust me. I don't care how tank these freights, these rates come. It can't get no lower than what it is, in my opinion. I could be wrong. Easy on the comments, <laughs> but uh, I love you guys. Look, let's um, let's keep rolling. Let's keep doing what we're doing, so we can make sure things get done like we plan to get it done. All right. Um, I will be posting another video here soon. I know I keep talking about topics. Topics are all over my head. You know, there's just so much to talk about. But love you guys. Keep doing what you're doing, and uh, I will talk to you guys soon.